Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to Pam is Winning. I am Pam, and we win on this channel. I am a winner, and so are you. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to new subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here with us on this keto challenge journey for the month of August. So guys, I'm a couple days late with my video. Um, Friday was so busy, I did not get to upload uh, my video and give you all the update, but I did wait in, and I am going to show you, or I may have showed you um, what the scale said so yes guys so I'm doing well I have went down um, on the keto you as you see I'm driving but I do have my notes in my phone because um, honestly guys I do weigh in every morning and um, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing but right now it's working for me because it helps me to kind of see and gauge uh, what I'm eating and how it's affecting my body. So it has been working for me and um, maybe it's like a push or motivation to me, um, you know, to stay on the right track and what I'm doing is really working. So my weight has declined um, and I'm so thankful. So right now, I think I've lost probably a total of about 14 pounds um, since the month of August. And um, I did begin keto, um, that Wednesday before I found out about the challenge and I just went keto cold turkey I didn't think about it I just had to do something because when I got on the scale I did not like what the scale said I did not like weighing in at 358 pounds and so um yes yeah, so I think I've lost about <clears throat> about 14 pounds um I feel really good uh, my head feels clear um I think that uh, the the magnesium, magnesium and potassium pills that I am taking and I think I showed them on the video Before and I may just try to find a, a clip and at the end show you what I'm taking and I got these from my organic health food store um, When I take one of those a day It seemed like it really really helps with my appetite because it has something in it also that is like a app like a um I don't know if it's a dietary supplement or I think that's what it says on there because I kind of looked it up and researched what it was and because I didn't you know I didn't know exactly what that was but that you know and that um but when I took uh last last Saturday last Sunday I took two pills instead of one because I read I actually read the directions I was just taking one I hadn't read the directions um because i couldn't see the small print i didn't have my glasses and i never just took time i just you know take it i was just taking one a day and, and it was helping me so last sunday i took two pills but it seemed like i wanted to eat more um but i, I said after that so i'm just going to take one so i don't know if it was like something else that was going on but it's like when i take one i just really don't have any kind of appetite all day i don't really want to eat like that um and then when i do eat it's like it's, it's not a huge amount, you know, so, um, so that, you know, that's a good thing. I don't know if, you know, it's keto or it's just, you know, that, or just a combination of things. Um, this morning I did take a t tablespoon of MCT oil. I had ordered some from Amazon because I ordered some for my coffee because I do drink coffee. Sometimes in the fall, um, I like a cup of coffee every now and then, excuse me, or have a taste for it. But it's just been sitting there for a week. But I watch uh, Kamonica's channel. I think her channel is Plus Size Kamonica. Um, I don't know if she changed the name of her channel. But she has an amazing weight loss journey also. Where she lost all of her weight, weight naturally. And she lost a whole lot of weight. I mean like over 200 pounds. You know like naturally. Because I think she was like maybe 500 pounds or something like that. She was really really... You know, she was a, a large woman. She lost a, a, a significantly uh, large amount of weight on her own. Um, you know, and I don't think she was like on any like weight loss programs or anything just by changing what she ate and um, just a couple other things, you know. And she was talking about MCT oil. So I said, well, she was talking about how she just take like a tablespoonful and how it just really, really helped her with like energy and just, you know, just feeling better and stuff and waking up uh, more energized. I took a tablespoon of that this morning, so I come back and let you guys know, you know, how that's working for me. Um, I was on a channel of a young man. He, um, oh my gosh, he has like over, 
is that one two million subscribers there on YouTube and he has I mean his body is like sick I mean like I'm talking about like just awesome I mean like if you look at him you never know that this man was overweight at one point in his life and he has lost a lot of weight and he does like a lot of videos on the science of losing weight because there is a science you know behind the numbers and all that and he was doing a video talking about um a drink that you can drink in between your meals um to keep you from feeling like snacking and i know one of the ingredients was um ginger juice and he had referred uh us to a company called the ginger something on amazon you could buy it off amazon but i i bought it on amazon yesterday so i ordered that so he talked about how you can take the ginger juice and mix with um a little pinch of i think he said a pinch of salt and what else um what else i think he said stevia or like a natural sweetener and some uh some of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar or apple cider vinegar I use Bragg's I think he was using Bragg's also and how you can mix that and how it will really like curb that your appetite from wanting to snack and also he talked about using how you how you can use uh, cinnamon and it was a couple of things that you could use to uh, like break your fast and he was just talking about you know the breaking down the whole science of, of what I think it's colossal or something how when you come off a pet a fast how you should really break your fast and not just you know like go to like something really really heavy but you know just drinking this little drink and eating a lean protein so you know i always knew there was a science there is a science behind losing weight you know some things work some things don't and then you know some things you can do for your body type some things you can't do everything doesn't work for anybody so you know that's why you just have to you know gauge and have to do things on your own um but anyway nonetheless i'm pretty sure i butchered so many words um so many things but um yeah, I'm trying. Like everything's on my phone. I'm recording on my phone because I did write down the um, the recipe for the drink that he was talking about. But you know, of course, I'm on. I'm gonna try that because I did purchase the ginger juice, and it's pure ginger juice that you would use. And I'm gonna let y'all know if it worked and how it worked for me. Uh, everybody's body is different, you know. So, you know, yeah so um yeah overall i had a very very busy week um this week and it was you know it was okay and then i um <sighs> y'all i had to deal with a situation that i didn't really want to deal with but i had to because it was just getting out of control and that situation was having um an unwanted house guest um you know somebody that you know kind of mooches and leeches and takes advantage of and it's somebody that's on my husband's side of the family that was you know really kind of you know pops in on us and then unexpected and then stays invites themselves doesn't um ask if they can stay and it, it got to the point where it was causing tension and uh in my home my husband wasn't at peace he was upset he didn't know how to say or tell them you know and so I had to address it head on and I addressed it in a way where the person, you know, they, I think they got it because when we were getting ready to leave last night to go to on our dinner cruise with my brother, my brother-in-law, my sister, um, I asked them, I said, well, what are you going to do? And they were like, I told you, you know, I'm house sitting. And I said, we don't need, we don't need no house sitter. We don't need no house sitter. And, um, and I think they got it because, you know, when we came back home last night, they had they had took their stuff and they left. And so, you know, it, it's too much. You can't wear out your welcome. And this person has done this for years. They've worn out their welcome. I don't even know if they have an address. They they use that, our address to have their mail uh, sent, you know, sent to them, which is one of the reasons why they come out of our house often. And I just think that it's absolutely too much. And I, you know, it just, it disturbed my peace. I couldn't even really enjoy my dinner cruise because, you know, you know, I just, I just didn't enjoy it because it's like she, she, yeah, she messed up our whole entire weekend, you know, our whole entire, our whole entire weekend because I had, 
I had already worked really, really late on Friday. I didn't get home almost seven o'clock. It was storming and you know, she was there. And that should have been enough. It would have been enough for me to say, okay, well I need to you know, you know, I'm you know, this person come home to their their spouse, they haven't seen their spouse all day. I need to get get out of their way. You know, that's how I think anyway. And the Bible even talks about when I your welcome. And some people do that. And so I just had to kind of address that in you know, in that way. And just let them know, you know, no. Because they've done a couple other things that's really that had really irked me and I tried to let it go. But you know, things like that, it disturbs your peace. My husband said he couldn't even sleep the other night. He was just like so upset and and he was like, you know, I could see if it was just me. If it's not just me, you know, it's, it's you and me. And I was like, yeah. I said, you know, and then they wash clothes at our house, you know, and they're leaving the TV on. Our, you know what I'm saying? It's like little things like that. You just can't invade people's privacy. It's just not right. And I don't care what family, you know, family, you just can't do people like that. You wear out your welcome. And she wore her welcome. And so... I don't know if she was offended, but I know she was gone, and that's what we wanted. And my fa my house felt so much free and clear because it was a lot of tension there. It was a lot of tension there. I, I couldn't even enjoy my home this weekend, you know, after having a long, long week because she was there. Because you know, she she made little, little comments, little stuff, you know, little comments and and stuff, and that I don't like. Because when somebody's at your house too much, it's like they know too much of your business, and you don't know what they're going back saying, who they're telling. And, you know, me and my house, you know, me and my husband's house, that's our house. That's our home. You know, that's where we go to relax, to enjoy. And, you know, we weren't, we weren't looking forward to a guest and entertaining. So, but anyway, nonetheless, y'all, you know, it is what it is. So, we, you know, we got rid of that. But anyway, have you ever had an unwanted guest and how did you deal with it? And I don't think I was wrong for saying what I said. Because I just said mean or nasty. I just said it. Um, kind of laugh, you know, laughed it off, but I mean, you know, <sighs> anyway, y'all have a great week. Talk to y'all later. Bye.